everything I did was to please other people. Like, I, I didn't even love sports that much. Um, but I just felt like that's what I was supposed to do. I was good at it. And I just wanted to make everyone happy. I medically retire, which I acted like that didn't bother me, but it did. Um, I was already just so destroyed physically from playing two sports mm -hmm. and me drained mentally that since I, I drained my hormones so far and my body so much, like I just, it was bad. Like I can't take this anymore. Yeah. Like I, something's wrong with me and I don't know what it is. And I handled it poor. Like I, I was like freaking out. My friends were worried about me. Um, I was suicidal beyond whatever you could imagine. Like I was like, I'm done. Like I have nothing else to give. I was so insecure as a person in certain areas that like God was just allowing things to be stripped. Everything I have my identity was gone. Even my sanity. Like that's when I lost, really lost it. Once like I, I couldn't trust my own brain. Like couldn't trust the way I think. Yeah. Couldn't trust my, like what I'm going to do. Couldn't trust like my compulsive actions. Like that's when, I mean, I don't know if anyone's dealt, like, I know that else, like, dealt with that. When when you can't trust yourself, that's when it's like, dude, I don't even want to be alive. Like, this is ridiculous. Until I finally just was like, I'm a mess, mm -hmm. which was terrifying. Acknowledge it. Yeah, I, I knew I was, but I never said it to anyone. I never, oh, I'm good, I'm good. But eventually, like, once you speak it out to it, into existence, now you know how to attack it and fix it. And whether you got to grieve or cry it out or see someone or... You know, or it, at the very least, you say it into existence, someone else can finally feel okay to say they yeah. have an issue. And you're helping other people, you know?